let's go into a more thorough breakdown of what <clears throat> of what happened on January 6th and Ashley Babbitt's death. Fucking the fucking tune on that case. Um, on the day that the police officer had shot Ashley Babbitt was exonerated. People went back and watched terrifying footage of Ashley Babbitt's death during the riot at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. It had been months since anybody had seen it, and basically people had forgotten how frightening it was. And it was the kind of scene we all see we see all the time in the movies, but it was transformed suddenly into a shock and violent reality. In the seven months since she was killed, Babbitt has become a has become a martyr to the ma to the maggot movement. In the twisted revisionist narrative being pushed by the former squatter Trump and his sycophants, they claim she was a peaceful demonstrator, an innocent, wonderful, incredible woman who was undressed and probably murdered by the police even though she posed no danger. But this is not what the fucking video shows. Her death was not a tragedy, but it was her, but it was not but it was but it was justified. In our first view of Babbitt on the video, she's at the front of an angry mob trying to get through to the speaker's lobby, where members of Congress and staff are holed up and she's screaming at the police, apparently demanding entry into the building. Um, the crowd is surging, they're at the front doors, fuck the blue can be heard. People are bashing at the glass panels on the doors with sticks and, and flagpoles. Several police officers are doing their best to hold back an entire crowd, but it seems like a losing battle and break it down, yells the crowd. Members of Congress can be seen on the other side of the door. Also on the other side of the door is a police lieutenant holding a gun, pointing it at the mob, an, un an unmistakable warning to stay back. Basically, when a cop holds their gun, it basically means stand back, but she decided to do the exact opposite. But Babbitt decides instead, although it's a little hard to see on the video, is to climb through the shattered glass window into the speaker's lobby past the blue police barricade toward the pointed gun. If she is allowed through, it seems inevitable that the mob will follow be behind her. As she climbs through, a single shot is heard, and she drops to the floor. On Monday, the, the U.S. Capitol Police declared the shooting lawful and said it would not pursue dis, dis, um, disciplinary, disciplinary action toward, against the lieutenant who killed, killed Babbitt. That follows April's decision by the Department of, um, of Justice not to bring criminal charges against the officer, and the other agency named the lieutenant for his own safety. But an officer may use deadly force only when the officer reasonably believes the action is in the defense of a human life, including the officer's own life, or the defense of any person in immediate danger of any serious physical injury, wrote the Capitol, Police, um, the, the Capitol Police's um, Office of Professional Responsibility. The actions of the officer, um, in this case potentially saved the members of Congress and staff from any serious injury and possible death from a, lar from a large crowd of rioters. And I'm not, a forensic, I'm not a forensic expert or a cop. But I haven't interviewed any. But people haven't interviewed any witnesses or seen any other evidence that we described. But but any normal human reaction to the video tells tells me or anyone that the Capitol Police and the Justice Department are absolutely right in this situation. People have watched it repeatedly. Babbitt crossed a line that had been clearly um, delineated. The police obviously felt it was the last stand, and the potential danger was obvious. Babbitt's shooting appears to have stopped the forward movement of the crowd. All this happened on the day when the vice when the vice squatter's life had been threatened. And when police were being savagely being elsewhere in the building, um, could the mob possibly have been stopped without Babbitt's death? Maybe. Perhaps there was a way to have avoided deadly force, but it's not clear to me or anyone what that may, what that way would have been. And, and it is clear that if Babbitt had gone through that doorway, an out of control situation would have gone and deteriorated even further. Um, and from, from the moment the trigger was pulled by the, the by the anonymous police officer. It was inevitable that Babbitt would become a murder to the maggot movement. She was a 35-year-old um, Air Force veteran from San Diego, a, beh um, a vehement sycophant of the former squatter, and a die-hard conspiracy, um, conspiracy QAnon nutcase. And no one and no one should be surprised by the signs at Klan rallies that call her a protest that call her a protest or murder by the Capitol Police, which is not exactly what it is. But Representative Paul Gozer, who is a Republican from Arizona, described the shooting as an execution, which it was the exact opposite. It is, but it is the involvement of Trump himself that really threatens to turn the narrative on its head. And Trump has asked why the police, why the Capitol Police officer is getting away with murder. He's really not. Um, basically, he says why. Um, he basically asked repeatedly who shot Ashley Babbitt. Um, but yeah, a cop actually shot her, but that was her own dumb stupidity for that. This month escalated in his rhetoric. He said, Marshall, we know who he is. Um, no, we don't because they're not giving his name. On faux news, with, with, um, with Trump sycophant host um, Maria Bartiromo, dumb fucking cunt, described Babbitt as a woman who went to a peaceful protest. Um, no, she didn't. And Trump put it into the context of verses for them. If this happened to the other side, he said in a statement, there would be riots all over America. Um, 
he basically considers the, the Democrats being the radical ones when it's actually the Republicans. Um, there was no reason for it, Trump said of her shooting. Um, yes, there was a reason for her to be shot. Americans need to remember this and not be fooled. In these days when the truth has been devalued and when everything can be spun, where facts are, mal um, are malleable and can be... Um, and can be dismantled and re reassembled to tell an entirely different story. Remember at, at least the clear-cut images on the video. These were not peaceful these were not peaceful demonstrators, and these weren't protesters ex exercising their constitutionally protected right to calmly express differences of opinion with their elected representatives. They were bashing down the doors. This was a riot. Ashley Babbitt was at its vanguard, and based on what I've seen, the police officer who shot her was doing his fucking job. So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, um, RBW King, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes up. And thanks for listening.